Hi folks, my name is Justin. Unfortunately, Bash can't make it here today because he's at the gym, trying to get in preparation to fit into his Black Widow costume for next week. So today we have Adam Rennie. Wonderful, let's get this started. So today we're gonna to talk about The Water Diviner, uh, a movie directed by and starring Russell Crowe. It's a movie based in Australia. Russell Crowe is a father of three sons who go off to war, who we understand are all killed, and it's about his journey to find them, and in this case, also kind of find himself. It was the winner of the Australian Academy Award for Best Picture, so I brought an Australian to explain to me what that means, because I really don't know. <laughs> the first thing is that if they say that it, they won an Australian Academy Award, uh huh. That's not, I don't think that's a thing. We, I, we have an award show, it's not the Academy Awards. Okay. So I probably Well, that's as three. much as, we're, we're Americans. If it doesn't involve the words we use, we're just baffled. Yeah, you baffled have to by it. really pander to you guys. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I enjoyed the movie. Uh-huh, okay. And the like several, it just like went through a lot. It was yes. a big, epic journey. He's directed some before, but it's kind of his like directorial debut, I guess, to maybe big pictures. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he tried to make five movies at the same time. Uh, my main thing is when they put up at the very beginning when it's like, oh, based on true events. Yeah, it's as inspired by true events. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy that that was based on true events because... No. And if he did, the man that Russell Crowe plays, he's crazy. Entertaining, but crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that kind of is Russell Crowe, from what I understand. He is kind of entertaining, but crazy. I've never met the man, so I don't really know. How do you feel, as an Australian, I'm gonna have you speak for all of your people. Um, how do you feel about Russell Crowe? Oh, I, I, you know what, I think he's, a, seems like a great guy. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes makes really great movies, and sometimes doesn't. I'll speak for all Americans when I say that we love Russell Crowe in Gladiator. I think it's everybody really loves Gladiator, no question. Yeah. Outside of that, it really gets 50-50 of whether or not you liked him in a movie. The entire film was so very sentimentalized. Is that a word? Sentimentalized? Sounds fine. Um, to the point where you had to cry. Like, I, well, I was like, well, of course. Of course I'm gonna cry. I don't think, as an actor, I would feel comfortable directing my own choices. Yes. Like, I always, is there someone else on set that's like, hey, Russell, that was really bad, you should do another take. Like, I don't know who, who does that. What's his name, Jai Courtney? I did not know he was Australian. Yeah, he's very Australian. I, he... I, I, very, I suppose to partially, I guess, <laughs> Australian. Are there any, do you know if there are any non-Australians playing Australians in this movie? I'm assuming again that you know all Australians and then you can verify who is and of is course. not really Australian. Absolutely, yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb yeah. and say that I'm pretty sure that there are no non-Australians doing an Australian accent. Okay. okay. That's a pretty tricky thing to do. It, it is. My, my favorite Australian word is no, because it is a word that apparently has 35 syllables in it. <laughs> it's a trick uh, there's, there's really a lot of vowels. I did, a, I did a Australian show here where we had an American playing my mother. She would come up to me and be like, can you say this? It was, oh no, Joe, don't go. <laughs> oh no, Joe, don't go. <laughs> apparently it's pretty tricky. Oh no, Joe, don't go. Oh no, Joe, don't go. No, no, no. Couple that's, of those got close. That's why I'm pretty sure that there were no Americans playing Australians <laughs> in the movie. So should we review the movie? Absolutely. Wonderful. Um, I'm gonna give this a three out of five. I did enjoy the movie. It is very beautiful. It's an award-winning film. All of the actors do a good job, but you, I'd say don't rush to a theater about it, because uh, there's like five movies in one. I'm going to give it four cricket bats out of five. Um, four out of five. Four out of five. Cricket and bats. Okay. Not, not because it's my favorite movie ever, mm -hmm. but because I thought that it was kind of fun. And for whatever reason, I really emotionally invested. Thank you everybody for watching the show. Feel free to subscribe to the page. Uh, the, the last week in the DVD stuff, you know how this works. Click on the little links below. Thank you, Adam, for coming on. Pleasure. I appreciate my, our resident Australian, Adam, coming on and helping us with this kind of stuff. Thank you, everybody, and we will see you next week. I believe an Australian falling off a cliff would sound like, no. That's, That's my accurate. Thing.